people our age. They don't care about politics. They don't care about anything. You know, it seems like a lot of people, adults included sometimes, are preoccupied with, you know, TikTok, Netflix. I wish that wasn't the case. We are on the right side of this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Guys, today I'm here with it's a makeover page. So guys, today we're going to be reacting to We Are In A Battle For America's Future. Guys, let's go right down to it. So many around us, like people our age, they don't care about politics, they don't care about anything. You know, it seems like a lot of people, adults included sometimes, are preoccupied with, you know, TikTok, Netflix, you know, what their, you know, what their favorite food is that they're going to make or, you know, buy or DoorDash, whatever. How do we convince people that, you know, the liberal agenda that you've talked about, that the, degre the degradation of culture that you've talked about, how do we turn people from this, you know, idea of bread and circuses to realizing that, you know, what we are a part of is something so much greater than TikTok? Such a great question. First of all, look around. You have people showing up to go hear someone talk about the declaration and take questions for an hour and a half. There's a sense of urgency in this country still, and that's a good thing. The attendance tonight, the enthusiasm, the energy, the commitment, there's people that care. We need more people. And unfortunately, the greatest reason involvement's going to increase is because the left is implementing such awful ideas and immoral ideas that people are going to start to wake up. I wish that wasn't the case. I wish there did not have to be unneeded pain and suffering for people to wake up. But here's the charge, it's a perfect segue, thank you, for every person in this room. Have tonight be the beginning of your activism. Have tonight be a time when you say, you know what, I am going to do more. Go start a Turning Point USA group like our amazing activists up here. Maybe the adults in the room, you're busy, you're raising kids, then support your local Turning Point USA group. Have them over for dinner, mentor them. And then here's what we need to do more than ever. We need to be relentless and have perseverance and then be specific of what success looks like. That's something that I think that we're missing because people say, I don't have hope. The, the lack of hope, I believe, is a lack of clarity in our future destination. We need to have a sense of purpose again. And here's the good thing. I think we're finally finding it. I think the conservative movement is less about opposition and more about creation of something new and exciting. Like I mentioned, I want to have flourishing families again in this country. I want to see the population rate go up, not go down, because we are on the verge of a population collapse in this country. I want our children to be so excited about Thomas Jefferson and George Washington that their parents have to calm them down at the dinner table. I want our children to love America more than their parents love America. We, we are on the right side of this. And there is a relentless metaphorical bombing campaign that tries to make you care less day by day. Okay. So guys, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm going to be honest on this. You see, this generation, I would say our slogan is, um, we don't give. Like, nobody cares about anything. Like, literally, you can see someone that doesn't have anything to do the whole day, just watching, scrolling through the top. Like from morning to night, they even forget that they've not had breakfast, lunch, dinner. Like they're just scrolling to TikTok. That is how like someone can be jobless in this generation. But like not just them, even for me. You see, I'm a communication student, and as communicators, we have to you know look for news and know what's going on. But I would rather be on TikTok, Instagram, rather even watch Big Brother than you know watch the news. That's for me. But what keeps me going is the fact that I have lecturers that when you come to class, you have to say what's like, they always ask what's in the news before we even start like our normal lectures. So I always have to, you know, maybe Monday morning, once I get to class, before my lecturer comes in, I'm looking for what's happening, what's happening, guys, what's happening. Like that's the only thing about news that I know. And it's very bad. I know it's bad, but I do it. It's very bad because we should care more about things happening around us like it's very important it's not life is not just about um the fun but like we should also like put more interest in what's going on because me i can like be having a conversation with someone and just say oh i'm scared for my generation because, because i don't know what it's going to turn into in like maybe five years or ten years from now i mean when it comes to um people's relationship marriage i hear a lot of people say oh 
me, I don't want to get married though. Like marriage is not even in my plans for life. And I'm like, are you for real? Like you see someone saying, Oh yeah, I don't care as far as I have money, I don't even care where the money is coming from. I'm just going to live like that. But this was not how life was like back then. I mean, people had plans, people had goals, people could see dreams of where they would find yourself in 10 years. If you ask somebody now, what's your plan or where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Someone will say, ah, yeah, I just have money. Yeah, that's all. I just see myself having money. Where's the money going to come from? Like, nobody even wants to, nobody wants to do office job again. Nobody wants to work for anybody. Everybody just wants to have money. Whether money is going to fall from the sky, I don't know. But in essence, what I'm trying to say is that people don't care about anything anymore and it's really bad because we should pay attention more to our society, our neighborhood, our country. In fact, like it's very important. But guys, what do you think about this? I hope you said it's true. I uh, think this generation we are in now, we just don't care about anything. Everyone is just minding their business, looking for what to benefit them and stuff. So we need to we need to be better. We need to like give I I don't I don't want to say the effort. So we need to like have more feelings, have more um curiosity about what's going on in the world and persevere to change something because really now we just like nah what what it is what it is, whatever happened happened. Like people have seen a lot of heartbreaking news that they don't really like when you see when people see things online that this place was bombed, they'll be like, Yeah, it happens every day. Like yeah. we are so used to negative things that we just um picture our head to receive negative news every day and now we are just pessimists. Like whenever negative things happen, we, we are just cool with it. We are used to it. So if that's a year positive news or something like this happened, we're like, oh, lucky people. They're like, no, like, why are you thinking about just negative stuff? But we grew up seeing those things. So we just psych our mind to expect those kind of things so we don't get hurt or start feeling some way. But I think we ourselves, we need to um, be optimistic. We need to believe that good things will happen and pray to end it. But I, I think, first of all, we need to persevere to do this thing before we start doing it. Because right now, we are all we are all in our I don't care mood. And I don't know why. <laughs> what do you think? Actually, they all said it. Uh, we should actually try to put more effort in the life we're living today. Will I say we should try and make things around us, will I say, important and useful to us. Just like she said, as a communication student, there's supposed to be more of knowing things happening globally everywhere as in we should know what is about to happen something like that and also our daily life matters a lot just the way they are saying that people are just seeing themselves getting married nobody wants to work under each other but this life every somebody's life is stage by stage you working for somebody means you having experience and knowing how to run your own when you have it but now nobody cares everybody's like nobody wants to answer each other sir or ma Everybody wants to be the ogre of his or her own, be the person in charge of everything. But that is not the way life is. Life is supposed to be turn by turn. You learn from me, you open your own, you establish, you teach more people and they go again, they establish. That's how life was supposed to be. But now, our generation is turning into something else. So guys, um, in conclusion, I'm going to say that for you to be able to make, a, make progress or like do something, for you to be able to make effort, you have to love that thing first to actually yeah. do it. So if you want to become maybe president of your school association or your departmental faculty, I would say you have to love what you're going to do as president before you become president. Because when you become president, you're just there for the name. You don't do anything. But if you love what you're going to do there, you would actually see yourself making efforts in that school. For you to become president of nation, senator, whatever, you have to love your country. Because only when you love your country will you be able to make changes in that country. If yeah. you do not love that country, you're just there for the glam. You have to love what you do for you to do it best. So guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, comments, leave it down in the comment section. Love you guys. Bye.